Welcome to another Micro Alert tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over on how to do some basic Kismet interaction with our main menu and how to get the camera to do some really, really cool stuff. So, that being said, we have to go back to Flash and we have to add these things where are called FS commands. Alright? Now, FS commands are basically little functions that Skull Form and Epic has given us that allows us to interface with Kismet pretty quickly and pretty easily. In fact, for case new game here, I'm just going to go fs command, and fs command is the thing that allows us to do kismet events. We just type in that, and then we just type in new game, just like that, right? And I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and I want to do this for settings as well. And I want to change this to settings, and where it says exit, I'm not going to do exit. And, or because exit just quits the game and there's nothing really to do there. Um, so these are main, the menu transitions. Oh, back. Back is a menu transition that I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put main menu. Just call that there. Now, new game. I want to take out this external interface call under new game. Just because you might not want to do that. But, anyways. If you want to load a map directly, leave that in there. If you want to handle that through Kismet, go ahead and type in this fs command. Cool. So now we can hit publish. And now we can go to UDK and we can just re-import this. Boom, we're done. I'm going to save this package. And I really can't test that right now, but we'll, we'll get to testing that real soon. Alright. And the computer's slowing. Oh, rendering the last project. That's why. Alright, so in order to uh, use these fs commands to our advantage, let's go ahead and make... Oh, I want to have the camera animate every time you switch menus. I think that'd be really cool. In fact, I coded a little something for it to make that a lot easier and not make your kismet look like spaghetti. It's still kind of weird, but it works. And as long as it works, it'll probably be redone in the future. That way it looks a bit better. Now, in order to do some camera interaction, well, first we have to... We have to make a camera. So let's go ahead and go to View, Browser Windows, Actor Classes. And in this list, you'll see Camera Actor. We'll go ahead and right click and go Add Camera Actor here. Boom, now we have a camera. Now I want to position this like looking at this corner. And I can't really tell what it's looking at, and, but I can check this, uh, or I can click this eye icon here on the little bar here and then click the camera. And now I can move it. And I'm looking through the camera right now, so wherever I move it, that's where it's going to be. So I want to put this in this corner like this. Then I'm going to uncheck this eye again or unclick this eye. Now if I move out, you'll see our camera is now there. That's cool. I'm going to save this. Alright. Now, okay, so now in order to uh, set up our menu system, we have to create a series of animations. The first thing you need to do is you need to create an idle camera. And that's really easy to do. We're just going to go to New Matinee. And I want to put an object comment on here because we're going to have a series of matinee things. And I want to make sure I know which ones are what. And I'm going to go ahead and double click this. And here's our matinee. Now, with the camera selected, I'm going to right. Oh, I'm going to first turn off this curve editor. It takes up space that I'm not going to use. I'm going to go Add New Camera Group. Boom. Now, I'm going to go Add New Director Group. And then I'm going to click this director group here. And I want to click down here on this timeline where this black line closes this other line. And I'm going to hit enter. And boom, there's a new camera group. And so right now we have this, this camera sequence that doesn't do anything. It's just an idle sequence. And that's fine. That's exactly what we want. We just need an idle. That way we can tell the player to look to this camera. And it'll just loop and it won't do anything. And we'll be on the use of this there. Now, if you want to learn more about Matinee. There's plenty of video tutorials on it, especially the 3D buzz and things like that. There's there's plenty of tutorials on there, so I'm not going to go over too much about this thing. So, once that's there, we now have an idle sequence, alright? That's cool. Now we need to make a, uh, a menu sequence. Now, these menu sequences are, are not loopable. They just basically transition to a menu thing. Now, for the main menu, I want the main menu to be looking in the same spot because it's just... When you open the game, it should just be at the main menu. So I'm going to go ahead and make kind of like another, another idle sequence, but just one tweak what we got to do. 
So I'm going to go ahead and change objective comment to main menu like that. Go ahead and double click this matinee. Double click the matinee. There we go. And I'm going to go to new camera group or make sure the camera is selected. New camera group. Then I'm going to go new director group. Click the director group. Scroll this all the way to the left. Hit enter. New camera group. Now I'm going to scroll out and cascade in the camera group by using my mouse wheel and pulling back. And I'm going to change this red to be very ne much next to the other red line. This basically says the length of our camera thing. Now, because this is a transition to the main menu, and we're not really doing anything, this should be set to be really quick. That way, by uh, the Kismet node and everything just works. Because it, after this is run, it's going to run the idle thing. And because it's pretty much the same, might as well reduce this very low. Because whatever's here has to be reduced, uh, has to be reversed when you change menus. So there's nothing to reverse, so might as well keep the time very, very low. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and move this to the right of it. Okay. Now, with that done, I'm going to go ahead and make my settings menu. Settings menu, I want to be somewhere else, because that's, that's where it gets really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and go to change my objective comment to settings. And I'm going to double click, I want to click the camera, then double click my man there. And I'm going to go new camera group. Same thing we've been doing. Kind of repetitive. Go ahead and make a go to zero. Hit enter. Add a new camera group. Alright. Now this time I'm going to actually move the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the little camera icon next to this new camera group. And it's going to make me look through the camera. Now I'm going to move my black line to about two. And I'm going to hit enter. Oops. i got to click the movement track in the new camera group. Now I'm going to hit enter. That creates a new key. Now in Unreal, I can go ahead and I can just move the camera to where I want. I want to move it. I want to be looking at this corner for my settings menu. Now, if you actually build a level with things that are really cool in it, I mean, you can have the camera fly around and do some cool stuff. But this is just a box, so I only have corners. That's the only other thing here. Now, if I scroll through here, I got this and I got this. Now that's kind of confusing. It's doing this weird rotation thing. So I want to come about one second in. And I want to add another key, and I want to kind of rotate this thing and make it like try to level this out I can't really roll in this view so I'm gonna click this here and I'm gonna pull back and I'm gonna hit spacebar and I'm gonna roll this a bit there we go and then I wanna move this down a bit too there. You can see the line is actually our animation going on. So I'm going to hit the camera thing to look back at the camera. And now it has a nicer rotate over. That's cool. That's exactly what we want. I want to scroll out. Two seconds is good, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this red line down to a, a little bit past the two second mark. That way I don't cut out that keyframe. Then I'm going to hit close. And so with our Kismet and these matinee in place, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here before we go into the next Kismet part, which will be setting up the four course camera helper. So we'll see you in the next video and we'll do all that and we'll make the camera do some really cool stuff next to the tutorial. Thanks for watching.